Oh, wait, little kitty. Turning off the TV from the remote isn't good. We need to unplug it. Why? To save the world. Really? Yes. This small step can actually save the world as it's a part of sustainable living. What's that? Good question. So in today's episode, let us answer this need of the hour question on sustainable living. Zoom in. The world population is constantly on the rise and with it is increasing the demand for food, clothing, shelter and other natural resources. But unfortunately, in a world left with very limited resources and under the threat of global biodiversity loss and extreme climate change, our growing demands are putting the planet and future generations at risk. So to save our future, it's high time that we take some targeted action through sustainable living, which is a way to minimize environmental damage by knowing how our lifestyle choices impact the world around us and reduce the demand and usage of the Earth's natural resources. It basically suggests we recycle the waste and reuse the sources. But the vital question is, how can we adopt sustainable living and save the world? Well, saving the world might sound like a Herculean task, only possible by fictional heroes. But you'll be surprised to know that we don't need any superpowers to help the future. And all we need to do is take small steps to make a big difference. Yes, to that, first practice a technique called reduce, reuse and recycle. In this method, we need to reduce our temptation to buy new products and reuse items or recycle them for a different use than what they are intended for. For example, glass can be molded into new glass, paper can be reused for packaging any material, and plastic can be recycled to make new hangers, bottles, toys, etc. The second step we need to take is to use less water. We can do that by simply turning off the running tap water during brushing, shaving and washing clothes, reducing the length of your showers and reusing unsalted cooking water to feed your plants. And the third thing we need to do for sustainable living is to monitor our energy usage. Yes, I know it's tempting in winter to blast the heater just as it is to have the AC on all day in the summer and speak over the phone with a muted TV playing in the background. But we need to understand that not only is excessive energy use costly, but it's a precious resource that will be exhausted one day. So for this, all we need to do is simply shut down and unplug the electric devices when not in use. Change the lighting in your home from traditional light bulbs to CFL and best allow the sunlight to light up your house, class or workplace during the daytime. And believe it or not, another way you can help to save electricity is through playing and reading. I know you must be wondering, how can this be a part of sustainable living? Well, that's because activities like playing, reading, jogging, etc. will keep you away from devices that require energy and natural resources which will eventually save them and reduce their demand. So next time, when your parents or guardians scold you for playing outside, tell them, I'm not playing to waste time, I'm playing for sustainable living and to save the world. <laughs> Trivia 
on time! Did you know home electronics consume energy even when switched off? Yes, approximately 75% of the electricity used to power home electronics is consumed while the products are off. So, it's vital to unplug them when not in use. Hope you learned something world saving today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.